You definitely hear that dog. I believe I hear movement in there. There's the second floor. Mm -hmm. Or the boys. Let's do this way. Hello? You can talk to me. Are you here with us? It's real slippery right there. Let's be careful. Let's see how the floor is caved in. That leads to outside. Did you hear that knock? Yeah. Hello? Anybody in here? Now I came from upstairs.
There's a locker. You can see the snow got into the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your footsteps? Yeah. Your footsteps? Yeah. Your footsteps? Yeah. All right, so Joy and I both heard footsteps, okay? While I was like taking pictures, and it sounded like it was coming from upstairs. So we're going to definitely be putting out equipment. This mansion is really, really huge. It has two floors. And it is a brick mansion. So it's made out of brick. But as soon as we walk in, it's really, really gorgeous. You will love the inside once we walk in. Mm -hmm. It is creepy that we hold footsteps upstairs. So you feel like more of a, like a happy vibe, but mm -hmm. not evil, not bad, just like good, good spiritual vibes here. Yes. Thought they used to love this home and everything like that. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So what we're getting ready to do is go up on a second floor. Y'all come with. Yeah. Yep. I hear you walking up here. Did you hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that voice? Mm -hmm. Hello? I heard you. Now it's loud. All right, y'all, so I just heard a voice coming up here. That was loud. Sounded like male, male spirit. 
but it sounded like a male spirit. Let's bring out the epic box for a little bit. Because I'm pretty sure we're definitely going to get some answers. So we got the epic box here. We're going to place it. You can come communicate with us through this epic box, the one with the blue light. This device will help you answer our questions with the yes and no epic box device. Were you on the second floor walking around? Light up for green for yes, or light up for red for no. Oh, it said yes. It said yes? Yes. Alright, so now you know how to use the epic box. I'm going to place the cat ball here. It'll stay. There we go. Right here. All right. These two clear balls. Could you light one of them up that I just placed down, please? Could you let our viewers know that you are here with us by lighting up the cat balls? We've seen that you could do the epic box. It said that one, one time. Cat ball. Was that you that touched the cat ball? One more time for confirmation. If that was you, can you touch that same cat ball again? Thank you. You can come back. Can you touch that cat ball again before I break out another device? So that way we know that you are here on the second floor with us. Light up that same cat ball for us, please. Thank you. All right, so the spirit's back up here. What I'm going to get now, since the spirit's back up here, is the red pod to see if I can communicate with that. Would you like to communicate with the red pod? If so, could you light up the cat ball, please? Whoa, that was immediately. All righty, I'm going to get the red pod out. Spirits, I got the red pod with me. It really lit the cat ball. It does. It's having lots of energy oh, right now. It doing it what again? What? The cat ball. It's off for a, a second and then it went to it again. Thank you. Can you step away from the cat ball, please, for a second? And as soon as I said, can you step away from the cat ball for a second, please, it stepped away. Oh. Oh, went back. Can you step away from it, please? I know you like the cat ball. We're going to place a new device down real quick. Step away from it, please, the cat ball. So it stepped away. Mm -hmm. 
Now that we make noises. Do not be afraid of the noise, okay? Alright, so do not be afraid of this device. This device is called a red pod. And what you do, okay, is you take your hand, you wrap it around like that, and light up pretty colors, okay? If you are still here with us, set off one of these devices we have laying down, please. There you go. Get closer to it. It will not hurt you, I promise. Your footsteps. Your footsteps. Your footsteps. So you walking around? So there is good spirits here at this mansion. They seem to like the cat a whole lot. They, they very barely use the epic box that's laying over there. And what it feels like to me is that they don't have enough energy built up to use the red pod. But they have enough to use the cat ball. And as you see, it's not going off like it was Lots and lots and lots of times. So, that basically took a lot of energy out of them. Right? So, when they were, when I tried to place the red pot down, and I asked them if they could try to set it off for us, they tried, but they just don't have enough energy built up to light it up all the way. Because these devices... Depending on a certain spirit and everything like that, they see. What's he? Yes. So they don't have enough energy currently. Certain spirits need energy to build up in order to use these high-powered devices. Now, some spirits already have a lot of energy already built up, ready to go. You know, what I'm saying for anybody. I go to a place or anywhere in general. But it just takes some energy or a lot of energy to use some of these devices. My hands are freezing. Light up that cat ball. See as you, ooh, there we go. Thank you. And as you've all seen, that cat ball's been off for quite some time. Quite some time it's been off. I have good vibes here at this mansion. It feels good here. Like, the energy-wise, it's like good. Nothing heavy. It's just like really, really light. It's just lots of spiritual activity here, like from footsteps. But it's like, the spiritual energy here is like really, really good. We are going to be wrapping up this exploration and investigation. Let me know what you all think about this video down in the comment section below. We definitely have gotten some amazing paranormal evidence that we caught on camera. We have got the cat ball to go off. We have got the red pot a little bit to go off, just a teeny bit. But they just don't have enough energy built up for that red pot just yet. The epic box we got responses of. And I know we definitely caught some voices on our camcorder. They were really clear to my ears so I could definitely hear what they were saying. They were definitely communicative, like communicating really well with us. We always come with respect to any location, whether it's haunted or not, because some spirits take their time to make their presence known. And it takes a lot of energy to build up to make their presence known and to use our devices if the place is haunted. Because you know the spirits can be really shy sometimes, so it just takes time. Let me know what your thoughts are about this investigation and exploration. 
and let me know what y'all think about this beautiful gorgeous mansion make sure to smash that like button on this video share this video out subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and until next time kpe paranormal love and peace